Hi, welcome to Christy's Camping Spot. I hope everyone has having a great Friday afternoon. I finally was able to get on. It's like when you say I'm going to be on at one. It's like daring the universe to put up obstacles in your way. Um, but I finally got on. Facebook has said I don't have any apps open and that I'm allowed to go on. <laughs> and there was nothing open. I don't know what, what was going on, but um, it was unhappy with something. But I got it done. So anyway, I'm so glad that you guys are here and that I'm here. It's been a while. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I have some two really fun cards um, that are on the last chance, uh, with using stuff from the last chance list that are still available, which is very exciting. Um, so let me go ahead and turn you guys down. Okay, so we're going to make these two beautiful cards with the um, Expressions in Ink Designer Series paper and the stitch so sweetly. So I love this set. So you probably have that set of dies, um, but oh my gosh, they are still available. So if you don't have it, you, you, can, you have time to get it. But this is that um, Expressions um, in Ink Specialty Designer Series paper. It is so gorgeous. So our last chance sale is of the retiring um 2021 2022 product then that annual catalog ends on may 2nd so all the things that are retiring it's only available while supplies last there are actually some stuff that is still on sale that we do still have in stock our stamp sets though i was really surprised have like flown like most of the stamp sets have retired that are on the retiring list are no longer available but luckily all of our dsp except for the hand pen and um our our dies are still available, which is pretty awesome. And the stamp set that matches this design series paper is um, going to be in the next in the next um, catalog, which is so beautiful. Oh my gosh! But I love this paper. I really, truly do. It is a beautiful set with the gold accents, and um, it also Stampin' Up has started with a lot of their designer series papers, and this one is included. They have these that you can cut them. And then you have space to do simple stamping where you can actually stamp on the piece of designer series paper and it looks so beautiful. Um, but we're actually going to use a really busy piece today that I love. It's got lots of the colors and the flowers on them. And um, let me see if I can get a full sheet. As you can see, there's just it's just so many beautiful. It was hard to pick which ones I wanted to do with this paper. Because chances are this is the last time I'm going to get to play with it on camera. So this is the piece that we're going to use. Isn't that gorgeous? 12 by 12. It's so beautiful. And then, um, and I had it in my hand the whole time and I put it back. And then we're also going to use this, a piece of this gold um, stripe. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, this whole, piece, this whole pack. So if you haven't gotten this paper, you totally can. We actually, so those are the two sheets that I used on today's paper. And this is the Expressions of Ink. And then we're going to use the Stitch So Sweetly, which I love. And most of you probably have it, which is probably why um, it's not going to be in the catalog anymore because everybody has it. Um, so uh, there are some beautiful dyes that are coming up, but I love these. So if you don't have them, these are um, the Stitched So Sweetly, and they are stitched, so they're like scalloped with the stitched. And I, I just truly love these. And these ones um, also I use. Um, I actually, for my April uh, thank you card to my customers, I'm actually using this. Cause I just, I love it so much. And I used um, these other pieces too. But for today's cards, we're going to be using, um, for this one, it's, um, oh, I think it's the third. Is it the third? Yeah, it is the third. You're going to use, it's this one right here. So it's the third for this one. And then um, for this one here, it's like the second and third. So well, this one's the third biggest, and this one's the second and third smallest is what we're using for this one. And then this pretty one is, of course, this one right here. Awesome. I love these dies. They're so fabulous. So if you don't have them yet, you can still get them. Um, and I would say they're totally worth it. Um, they are spectacular dies. Like, I, I love them. Um, and if you're not sure if you have any ideas, I have so many on my website. You can just, in the search function, um, just use Stitch So Sweetly, and I've used all of the dies. You can find examples of stuff that I've done with them because I love them. So we're going to use two more today, which I love. And we're actually using 
the stamp set we're going to use is this artistically inked, which again, I love it. Now it is carrying over. Man, I love this. And I usually use this piece a lot. Um, I know I did a robots card and I use that. I love this one. I love these images, but today we're just going to use this, this image and, um, the, the leaf and we're going to use these little, these little ones for, um, this card here. It's, we're going to do it on the, on the tag as well, or the label, as well as I'm going to show you how, how to quickly add some of that gold foiling. Which I love so much. The leafing, gold leafing right there. It's so awesome. And then of course I used the sentiment. So in this one I'm using, um, uh, evergreen and this one's got the black. But it's the thanks and hello. And I love this best wishes. It's, it's super cute too. And it has a lovely happy birthday. So this is a great Red Rubber um, stamp set. And that's, we're going to play with our fabulous, um, our fab <laughs> fabulous, this designer here is super. It's just so gorgeous. Okay. So let's start with this card first. I love this. Let's go ahead. Let me see if I can make it. A, you guys a little bit closer. There we go. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Okay. So, and we're going to use, also for this, I'm actually using my Tastely Textile 3D embossing folder, which is also on the retiring list. I'm just saying. It has, I can't believe it's still there. I'm, I'm really sad seeing this one go too. Um, so I just wanted to make sure I got to use some of my favorite products before they were gone. Love, love, love them. Okay, well, we're starting with um, the Pale Papaya um, card front, and I like the um, 11 by 4 and a quarter, so it's 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half, um, and it's a lovely, I just love it, and this is one of our in, our in colors that's staying. We are going to use one of the in colors that is going away today um, for the pink, the, I think it's the Magenta Madness. And then I'm going to use a piece of Whisper uh, Basic White, um, layer that I'm actually going to build my, um, put my designer series paper on. And it is the, um, five and three eighths by four and one eighth. So that's the panel that I'm going to use. Then I need the, a, a piece of tech, a texture of, um, pale papaya that I ran through with my, um, tastefully textured 3D embossing folder. And this is one inch and it's by the four and a quarter. So it's going to go all the way across. And that's going to be where my transition is with my two pieces of designer series paper. And then, of course, I needed two pieces to put uh, the um, half inch by four to put on the inside and the back of my card to pull that through. And then I showed you the um, I've already cut out my die cut it out. These um, super cute. Oh, my gosh. I just dropped them on the floor because, of course, one sec. Hopefully they didn't go um, spinning too far out of control. Okay. It was the third biggest. So right there in the middle. And that's when I, I die cut out. And again, when you use these big, the bigger dies, you always want to try, if you can, position your paper so that when the dies go through, like with the stitch rectangles too, they go this way, or they have the shortest the shortest end in instead of this way. It's always easier and better for your dies, so you don't find that they warp. Even though when they warp a little bit, you can always bend them back, but um, it always is better to run them through your cut and emboss machine with the shortest edge so that um, through your machine. Here we go. Love, love, love. And I have an extra one just in case I mess up. Okay, awesome. So I showed you guys that. Let me that one. And then, okay. So let's totally drop that all over the floor. All right, so first let's build our card. We have our inside pay, uh, inside basic white, and that's the smaller, so it's five and one eighth by three and seven eighths, and that goes on the inside. So let's make sure we don't accidentally use that one. So I have, um, I've cut my um, designer series paper, because um, they're, not, they're not the flip side of each, but this one is at two and three fourths and two and a half, and of course I will have all these measurements up on my um, website and so they just fit so what I'm going to do is and then the transition goes over the edge so when you're putting your um, I always love to when I put the designer series paper like this I always like to have a panel underneath I think that that works the best let's make it some glue and I'm going to do the bottom first and I'm 
and I'm just this is just an eighth so it's just a little bit so I can I can really see where to position it because I'm going to make sure that there's a, the same amount on the sides as there is on the bottom um, because if if you've cut it and it doesn't fit exactly snug it doesn't matter of the two because we're going to use a piece of this um, the pale papaya that'll go all the way across the transition so it'll hide if there's any kind of gap in between but you want to really make sure that you get your edges in the right place so added my glue and I just want to make sure that I've got it even on this side and I do like to use the glue um, it is you do need to be careful when you're using this because of the foil when um, you don't want to get glue on the foil it's really hard even with our eraser to get it off without tearing um, and marring your uh, glue I mean your foil with the glue it just doesn't like it as much and but we can put that on there make sure you pick which way you like it because remember it's going to cover some of it I do like the pink oh, let's see a little bit more stuff. oh the peach on this piece love I love both sides of this designer series piece I like the foiling because sometimes you like the foiling ones better than the plain. But oh my gosh, this whole pack of specialty DSP is just gorgeous. So it doesn't matter if it um, overlaps, although it should. If you've got it, if you actually cut it good, it will. Um, they will match up. But it's important to make sure your just make sure your edges are the, the most important is that your 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 border looks right. Because if it's not 100% in the middle, remember we're going to cover that with this, so the transition, so they won't be able, nobody will be able to see that. And the one inch gives you enough room. So if you wanted to have way more of um, of the pretty on the top and less of the stripe, you just move it down. Or if you want it to be more stripe and less of that, you move it up, just like that. <laughs> so it's really easy. Um, the tra using an in the inch wide band. Um, band here right works so nice okay so then I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to add it to my card front this panel make sure I'm on camera you guys can see and I like to use the white um, with the white because it really you know I mean, there's all this nice shimmery gold um, I think the white helps make it pop a little bit because I am using the pale papaya and it is a paler color. Um, on the other card, we're going to use the shaded spruce and, and pear pizzazz. And the, so you can see what it looks like with the greens. Um, it brings out different colors. It brings out different colors in your paper. Okay, so there we go. Now we can add our... So if you're afraid of the glue, <laughs> definitely use your... Stamp and seal, and you're going to need some stamp and seal or some tear and tape because that is how we're going to attack, um, add some of that gold foiling. But I'm going to use um, this goes from the edge to the edge. So the only problem with using the seal versus the glue, and everything always has all the adhesive always has a. Um, have, they have their drawbacks and their things that are awesome. Right? Is you can move stuff more with the glue, right? You have some, you have a little bit of give, but if it spooges out and gets all over your, um, your foiled image, oh, it's it's a pain. You have to be very very careful. You got to make sure it's completely dry before you try to remove it with your eraser. But there you go. Isn't that pretty? Ah! So it's actually not. It's not hard. It's pretty easy. And it is a nice change to break it up like this instead of just going with the straight how we do with the just one panel. Oh, I love the one panel. So pretty, so pretty. Okay, so now we need to make our our um, our tag, our label on the front. And so first, what we're going to do is we need to stamp our to stamp our sentiment. And I'm going to stamp it right here on the bottom, and I'm using our black memento. I think the black memento might be back in stock. I think the refill might still be on back order or unordable. But I do love our memento. I need to get it nice. I had to re-ink one of mine. 
and then it makes it really bad. So hopefully this looks nice and black. I do like the red rubber after a red eye. Okay. Ah, awesome. Look how beautiful that is. So pretty. Okay. Now let's set that down. Let me close this up so I don't get it all over me. And then we're going to, and the reason we're going to put, we put the, the thanks down low and in the bottom is because I'm actually going to use the big flower and the pale papaya. Actually, these are distinctive, so it's better to add your ink with it like this. It's the best way to do it. And make sure you have something underneath because we are, we definitely are going to stamp off on this one. So just depending on how you want how much of your the flower to show. Press that down nice. Just like that. Oh, so pretty. Okay. Then we're going to take our stamp and seal. And you can see right here is where, um, so on this one it was more on, the, it, was, oh, it was about the same. I'm just going to take my stamp and seal and put some stamp and seal right here. Now you can do your the Versamark um, to add your um, the the gold. Um, what is it called? It's not foil. It's, it's uh, leaf, gold leafing. And I put my gold leafing in this container, right? Because it gets everywhere. Um, it, uh, mine didn't blow up as much, but this is like. Um, it's it's so much it's so much but i didn't get out want to get out my embossing things so just using your stamp and seal or actually a glue dot will work or um your tear and tape works really great especially if you want straight lines with your the gold and i'm just going to press it in there i'm just going to use my fingers and it'll attach it Ta -da! so now i've just given it a gold the gold center. So even though we don't have right now, um, I don't think we have any gold ink. You have the embossing, but you can just add this a lot easier now. You will get little gold flakes everywhere, which is why I have my um, in this big container. It gives me lots of space. But you just use your finger, get that on there nice. Isn't that awesome. So close this back up back underneath oh but you have these fun things it's so much easier you figure out um, quick and easy ways to use it I think you can use glue if you let the glue dry a little bit you don't want the glue to be super wet to add your your um, the foiling um, is that what it's called I don't know why I'm having leafing the leafing it's soft too it feels fun <laughs> I love it okay so then now you've got that nice and tapped down. Then we need to, uh, we're just going to need a piece of scrap. And we're going to use the pale papaya. Because it wouldn't be one of my cards if I don't have some kind of fussy cutting. Right. Now you could stamp on here directly. But I love to fussy cut. So I'm actually using the little, the littlest leaf and these three pieces right here. This littlest leaf and this one. And again, it is the... These are um, distinctive. So I've got one in full, and then another one that's lighter. Oops, this one that's lighter. You can barely see that one's lighter. There we go. I think it was too light. Then I'm just going to fussy cut that out. Let's see, and then I'm going to do the pair and then I'm going to do these three flowers in the magenta madness now I think all of the refills are actually have already retired so you can't get the refills for these ink for our ink pads but you can still get the ink pad and the paper um, I think the markers might be gone not not the blends I think the blends are still available but the um, stamp and write markers so there's still quite a few of our in color that are retiring look how bright and gorgeous that color is so Uh, this is the magenta madness, which matches the color in our. Um, 
and our designer series paper. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. That one was too light. I don't want it to be. So I think on my sample, I used this one's the light, but somehow I think I huffed on it. So if you're going to do a second generation and it's a and it's a pale color, probably like um, the pale pizzazz or the um, pear, uh, pale papaya, you should huff on it for your second. So like if you, you stamp it once and then you should huff on it, little that in red, it reactivates the ink with the moisture a little bit, so you can get a, a lighter secondary because this one was just too light. The other one got a little bit darker. I think I pressed a little bit harder on it. So there's still a little bit of shade dimension, but not as much as it was with the other one. Because I did not have one. I should have. Anyway, so oh my gosh, guys. This last, these last few weeks have been uh, kind of tough. I had problems with my internet and missed one. Um, one of my lives. And then the next week it was... <laughs> um, I meant to get back on and things are just get, went crazy and then my daughter had a doctor's appointment um, and my website went down um, it was down oh, I think maybe oh it probably was 12 hours it seemed like forever though um, because we had to migrate my site to another IEP IP address like I know way too much about that stuff now um, unfortunately and then when I finally got it migrated properly um, the database had to be re-uploaded, which is like 15 hours. It's just insane. And then um, after we got that done, I couldn't actually post pictures. Like, it wasn't letting me download it. And it was a permissions thing. I just had to find the right thing. My husband, of course, who has, you know, a master's in computer stuff, and knows all about code. It was actually the, the user interface on my dashboard that needed to change. Because when you change your IP, it changes one of the other passwords. So it wouldn't let me upload images. I actually had to call my friend, <laughs> who also knows about stuff, and we walked it through. So I was able to finally was able to post something. And then, um, unfortunately, we had a, um, a death in the family. Um, my best friend's mom passed, and um, she was 83, and her her health was deteriorating slightly, but it was still a bit of a shock. Um, and so that's this week. That was this week's. So, I appreciate you guys hanging with me, even though I've been a bit absent. Um, but it was nice to get, to take a break from all that to um, get in my craft room and create. Um, we also, for demonstrators, it's been, it's been really exciting because we had our on tour and um, it was a great distraction for me because my website was down and there was nothing I could do about it while I was uploading all the things. Um, I find I'm a little impatient, and I want to push off the buttons, which you can't do. Um, and then, of course, um, as a demonstrator, we get to pre-order from the new um, catalog, which is so exciting. My pre-order my pre -order isn't here yet, but when it does, um, I will definitely go on and show you guys all the goodies. There's so many fabulous things. And then, finally, my, my paper pumpkin came yesterday. So, um I'm really excited about the paper pumpkin because I love that in the New Horizons stuff that's in um, the January to June mini catalog. Okay, so then you're just going to use a glue dot and just add these leaves directly to your um, just kind of directly to where you want it to go on. Oh, so pretty. And then we're just going to use, again, glue dots to add the flowers on top. Kind of transi transition them. I just love these so much. And then let me add Wicca Stella onto this. It's easier to do it here. I'm going to layer them on top. You can do it afterwards, but it's just easier to do it right before. Probably should let it dry though, which I did not. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. I love how bright this color is. It looks so nice with the Just like that. Oh my gosh. How beautiful is that? Ah, oh, 
so gorgeous, so gorgeous. Okay, and then we just need to use Stampin' Dimensionals to, oops, they came all flying down, to add them to our card front. Pack. I love to use, don't throw away your um, edges. The edges are great when you have to do um, something where you need just like the edging. Actually, I need I use the edging on the next card. I love to use all these, but I keep them. I cut them when you only need half of a dimensional or even a little bit smaller than a half. That way you don't have to get out your mini dimensionals. Sometimes having that straight edge there is super nice. Here we go, get this off. And then add it to our card front. Look how beautiful. Oh my gosh. I love, love, love. Love, love, love. So you just add that little bit of gold accent at the top in your pretty um, pale papaya flower. Add the um, Wincastella to the Magenta Madness, those other little flowers. And add your little pale, um, pear, pear pizzazz, not pale pizzazz, pear pizzazz leaves. Love it! Okay, and then we need to put our Gilded Gems. Now, the Gilded Gems is also going away. Those are retiring, but you can still get them. And I love these Gilded Gems. They are spectacular. I was very sad to see that they weren't staying. Of course, they all have other gorgeous gems <laughs> for us to use. They always stamp it up. Always has, like, fabulous things. But we get used to our ones that we love. It's hard. Especially when you have your go-to. I love these from gold. So I'm just going to add three of these big ones to the bottom because I just love the way that looks. I didn't add any to the top because I didn't want to distract from all that gorgeousness up there. Just like that. I take a take the tool. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, love it. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Okay. So then we need to do finish the back. Get that out of the way. Okay, so of course, you guys know I don't like to not have things on the back because then it's naked. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp my, try to get that nice and inked, on the back of my card. I love it to be, um, like it all to be match and coordinated. Okay, so then I'm going to add thanks to my insert. Remember, this is the 5 and 1 eighth by 3 and 7 eighths. Awesome. And then, and you can, of course, stamp this on your envelope as well. And with this beautiful pale papaya, you can totally um, do that uh, flower on, the, um, on your envelope, too. So it's all very coordinating. And then I need my little strips. use my little stamp and seal and stamp and seals too if you're not as good with um, if you're afraid you're gonna get that stamp and seal all over the place you can just um, use your craft mat so we sell those silicone craft mats sure I mean if you've done any embossing and stuff you probably have one in your stash but I love our craft mats and um, if I ever am doing stuff with my um, they come with like the, I've got a ton of them. That's a great surface because then if you get your um, stamp and seal on, you'll get it on the mat and it com it just comes peels right off instead of um, getting it on your work surface because it doesn't matter if you stamp on here. Although if you stamp like uh, 20 or 50, 20 or 30 times in one spot, that ink will come off on your hands. So keep that in mind. But otherwise. Um, you don't have to worry about ink coming off on you, but if you put your adhesive on here, your stuff can get stuck. And that's not, no way, no, we don't like that. So let me go ahead, let me add this to the inside. And you, of course, could stamp if you wanted to on the inside here, like put, if, if you want more flowers. I did not add even more flowers to it, but you could if you wanted to. Um, the, the little stamps are cute, but because I fussy cut it out, those three, I just didn't want to bring that through. Let's add this to here again. 
see. So if it goes off, it's not there. I do let my stamp and seal. It is awesome. But like everything you find, you have adhesive that you love. But I just know that when you use the the when I use any of the like specialty paper that has this gold, there's like a you know these big swipes that the glue if you get on there, which you know I'm super messy with the glue, um, it will it makes it harder for it to get off the glue off of this with your little eraser. So let me add my little copyright. Ah, oh, no, it's finished. Love it. And this one is from the Handmade For You, which is a really great set, but it is also retiring. And there's a new, it'll be a new um, Angel Policy copyright set in the new annual catalog. I love those. Okay, there we go. That's our first card. You guys think you like that? Is that pretty? I just really enjoy this designer series paper. I mean, they always have such gorgeous designer series paper, but I do, 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 do love it so much um so oh i get to see my daughter I said hi it looks like my sound is working which is great since i'm like 20 minutes in um and karen hi karen lovely to see you yeah it's gorgeous paper and i can't still i i don't believe it's still um available i when i checked at 12 30 it was still available but i i expected it to be off i actually ordered a couple of extra packs for myself for later but um i love 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 it so so gorgeous okay so now for our second card. So let's move those over here. It's fun to get that gold foiling out. So the, our second card. Let's see if I let me make let's zoom out again. We are gonna need get all my pieces out here. And so oh, let me get my, my out of the way. There we go. We don't need the black anymore. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna need we're gonna use a pear pizzazz, um, which is a great green. I, I do love this green. Um, it's eleven by um, again eleven by uh, four and a quarter. And remember, all of my card fronts that I do that are basic like this, if you want it to be a book fold, like so it opens like a book, um, you just would cut it at the five and a half by eight and a half and score at four and a quarter. So it's just the opposite way. So it would open, but all of my card fronts open the same. I mean, it will, will fit on the front, uh, regardless if it opens up or if it opens like a book fold. So keep that in mind. If you really love those book folds, you can still have them. Okay, but it's pair possess. And then we need the, in, this is my insert, which is the five and one eighth by three and seven eighths. It goes on the inside. And then I have a um, shaded spruce where, like I said, we're going to bring out the greens. And this is 5 by 3 8 by um, 4 and 1 8. And then a piece of that gorgeous designer series paper is the 4 by 5 and a quarter. We're just going to mount that on top of there and then mount it on here. So in the stitch so sweetly, like I said, it's the second and third smallest so I have the third biggest on the first on the first card and then I have the second and third smallest on the second card and you know you don't think about these triangles uh, are these triangles these rectangles um, being layers but they layer so beautifully and then I put the the um, basic white and that's where we're gonna put our sentiment on there like that um, so pretty so pretty and then of course we need um, some strips of the designer series paper for the back and the inside. I think I cut one and it didn't have as much green. I wanted more of the more of the shaded spruce on the piece um, for for this card since I'm using the shaded spruce. So let me go ahead let's go ahead and get started with assembling. So first we're just gonna mount um the glue this to our shaded spruce layer. Just love this designer series paper. It's so pretty. matter I can turn it over so silly on Make sure you don't have glue on your fingers there is that gold element on this designer series paper too not just that 
that lovely striped. So pretty. Oh, it's, oh my gosh, those colors are just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And um, I have in the past showed you how to use the alcohol in our blends to create this effect yourself. So if you guys can go back, I might link that in the, in the description of um, this. I'll probably put that up in the description. Or you can link back on my blog where you can make your own of uh, this gorgeous paper. So you can make your own designer series paper with the vellum and the blends. So much fun. But you do need the higher alcohol. The higher, like, I think I use 99 for the alcohol, the blends, because then it really goes. Um, the lower the lower alcohol percentage doesn't work as well. That is not pretty. Oh, so pretty. It's so easy to. Um, I love it when you can just do a few layers and that's all you need. Okay, so now let's stamp our um, sentiment. And I'm using the super cute hello. And I wanted to use the, um, of course, if you wanted to bring out more of the pink, you could use that. But I'm going to go ahead and use the shaded spruce. For this one, I'm just going to stamp the low right in the middle. My basic white label that I die cut with the stitch so sweetly. I love, let me get that nice and clean. I love the chamois. Um, the chamois is fabulous for when you're you're stamp uh, when you're stamping on the go because you need to clean your your stamp. You should just clean your stamps right away. So you don't accidentally get it all over the place. But if for long-term care, our stamp and scrub is awesome, especially if you use stays on a lot, um, because or even if you or if you use baby wipes a lot when you're cleaning, because our stamp and mist, because we use your stamp and mist with our stamp and scrub, it is actually a reconditioner and it'll keep your red rubber like new. Like that that the stamp and mist reconditioner is so nice. So you can clean it. So I usually clean my stamps um, every once in a while just with, j even though I use the chamois on my desk all the time. I do use that because the reconditioner is so nice. So nice. Keeps your, keeps them not, um, keeps your red rubber lovely. So I have stamp sets from like 20 something years ago that are exactly like they are. I mean, Stampin' Up! has beautiful quality, but you do need to take care of them, right? Like, They'll last forever, and, and it's good for the um, photopolymer too. The, the most important thing with the photopolymer is not to store those in the sun because that will um, deteriorate them pretty quickly. You also don't want to. Um, I'm just gonna use my stamp or a seal right here. You can also use glue to just attach this to here. Um, you don't want the cleaner for this stays on. You want to make sure that if you use that on your photopolymer you get that off really quickly because that will also eat away at your um, at your photopolymer stamps. So you can use glue or whatever. It doesn't matter, but I have it here, so it's much easier. And you know, I make a mess with the glue. These layers so beautifully. So beautifully. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, love it. Okay, so I like for this one, um, I used the edge ones. So that works really nice for these. So I, I love to use my edge ones when I'm doing rectangles. And the reason why I go the top to bottom is almost always I have, I usually have ribbon that I put in the middle. So if you're, even though I'm not using ribbon on this time, but if you have ribbon, um, when you're putting the stamp of dimensionals, it's always better to leave a space in the middle where the ribbon will lay so that your um, your sentiment will lay nicer. Um, oh, looks so nice. But I've used those pieces. Never throw those that ones away even though they don't have, they're not like the little um, hexagon. Every little piece is fabulous of these stamp of dimensionals. Okay. And then when you want to make sure you put this up a little bit so you have room to put your... Um, your gems, awesome, isn't that beautiful? Oh, so gorgeous, so gorgeous. And then we will put in this one, I'm actually gonna put one at the top. You can almost not see it. But I'm gonna put two. 
there's three sizes with them. So there we go. So I think I have I have it a little bit farther apart. I think I do. There we go. <gasps> we been and that's pretty. <gasps> love, 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 and super easy, right? That's super easy and gorgeous. And now again, we need to um, do our back. Add our pieces. Your hello. Not evergreen. I just love the. Let's do your hello. So beautiful. And this is on our inside panel. And then close this up. And add our. I'll go ahead and do this again. Because I have my seal out. love that. Now you doesn't have to be the one half by four strip. If you have anything left over, it's, it's nice to add that. If you have a piece that you want to add, you want to add a piece right here that looks awesome too. I just always have the, the you know, this is my standard um, that I always do is the half inch by four. Um, but if you don't have a piece that's up, you know, if it's only like by three long, I mean, just adding anything to the back. Don't throw those pieces away. They're fabulous. You know, even if it's an eighth. A little bit will go a long way. And then, of course, I, these ones hang over just a little bit. And if I put it on, like I just put it on and I use the seal. So it's not exactly even, right? When I put it on, and I'm not going to be able to pull it off. If I use glue, I could do it. So it's a little bit more on this side, and that's going to drive me nuts. So just turn it over and see how I only have a little bit hanging off. Just snip it down, just like that. And then it matches, right? That's all that matters. <laughs> so it matches on the inside. So slip it down. But yeah, definitely don't throw away any pieces. I keep all of those because you never know when you just want a little bit. You can also add them to um, your envelope as well. But this stamp set is so gorgeous and makes that beautiful kind of watercolory swirly um, the image it looks really great on your envelopes. You can still add this paper also. Beautiful! That's the inside and back and then we can add. Again, I'll add our angel policy because it just doesn't look finished. I think it's because I'm, I'm so used to doing it. The Stampin' Up! logo. Like looking for that hall, the Hallmark logo on the back. Here's my Stampin' Up! logo on the back and now we know, and I love a bone folder. Don't forget if you want to make sure your um, your things are really crisp to use that that bone folder. They're beautiful! Oh my gosh, I love these cards so so very much, and I love like I love the stitch so sweetly. So if you haven't gotten that one, I would say definitely get it because it's so beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Thursday double feature on Friday. It's <laughs> I might have to end up changing the day and I guess change the name of my, um, of the cards I make, but so pretty, so pretty. I really appreciate you guys joining me and I hope you guys have a great rest of your, your weekend and your rest of your week and have a crafting. Bye guys.